So hey, Gene. Howdy. So we're here at, uh, is it uh, Chrisom? Hyde Park Elementary School. That's, it. That's Criswell Field right in the back there, but this is Hyde Park Elementary School. I think it's still, it may be a middle school now, but I think it's a, it may be a middle school, but it was elementary school back then. All right, and uh, you have a better history with uh, this area and this school in particular, right? Yeah, man, yeah, as kids, we went here, uh, me and, and Ronnie, uh, and also Bob Burns went to this school. And of course, Ronnie was a couple of years in front of me and Bob Burns. Bob was about two and a half years younger than me and Ronnie Van Zandt. The reason I was here, because I failed a couple of times early on, you know, and I got to tell people the hardest three years of my life was the third grade. My God, it, it was horrible. But uh, uh, in the early 60s, when they uh, consolidated the county and city of Jacksonville, made the whole county, the whole city limits of Jacksonville, that changed the dynamics of areas. And so if you was on the north side of Woodcrest and went to this school, you was transferred to Ramona. And if you lived on the south side of this school, a uh, south side of Woodcrest, you st stayed here at Hyde Park. And this is where me and Bob Burns went to uh, school together. Um, um, this was a sixth grade, let me see, fifth. Up to the sixth grade, we were here. And uh, actually here at this school, Bob Burns, if you knew Bob, Bob's face was kind of elongated. And at this school, Hyde Park Elementary School, is where I nicknamed Bob Burns Horsehead because of his longest face. And me and him always identified as, what's up, I, I would say Bob, I'd say, what's up, Horsehead? You know, and so his, his whole time. And here's this story that go with that. After his long, 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 years long hospital stay from his nervous breakdown, when he got out of the hospital, he called me. And he, when he, I picked the phone up, he said, Gene, it's Horsehead. I knew automatically it was Bob. I went, Bob, my God, I ain't talked to you in 20 years. I said, man, I used to, I'm doing great, man. And so we got into the conversation of what it was for. But yeah, he identified as himself as Horsehead when he first called me. Man, what was that? Somebody, somebody done, some meth head done blowed up. Blowed his, blowed his, blowed up his garage. But um, that was the story about me and Bob Burns going to this school. Had a lot of, lot of history here growing up as, as kids. And um, Gary Rosington, um, not Allen, where Allen lived at, but no, Gary didn't. I don't think Gary went to this school. No, I don't believe, I don't believe he did. Uh, but this is where me and Bob Burns and uh, graduated from here and went to Lakeshore Junior High School. And uh, we were actually in a couple of classes at Lakeshore Junior High School when, when I got taken out of, uh, of school in uh, the ninth grade. I passed from the eighth to the ninth and they take, took me out. And so um, um, Bob, um, call me up and he said, hey, it's Horsehead, you know, and he said, I need to get some help. I said, what, what do you mean? What are you, what are you talking about? He said, man, Skinner owes me a lot of money. And then it dawned on me, boom, just like that, what Ronnie was saying about another member of the band and Bob Burns' money. And then it dawned on me when Bob left, mentally ill, he was still a stockholder of Leonard Skinner, Inc. So he was, and Ronnie was having his money escrowed, so nobody could touch his money, and meaning one, another member of the band couldn't get that money. And so uh, he, I, he said, I need some help, Gene. So I called a buddy of ours that grew up across from Bob Burns. That's a family, a family, a, a family law attorney. And I said, hey, Bob, need some help. He said, let me call you back. He called me back, gave me a number of another lawyer, and said He'll, he can help Bob. 
So then Bob started getting his money, you know, and me and Bob Burns go way back. Me and Bob's like me and Ronnie. You know, me and Bob went to early elementary school together and that thing, we became great friends. And when he got out of the hospital, it was, I was, um, I don't know the right word to say, but I was fortunate enough to know somebody that could help him and get him the right lawyer. And that was a, a pinch between me and the other band member, you know, and so, but you have to know that guy. Well, thank you for sharing. Hey, no problem, man. yeah.